Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of Now Talk where we will be discussing a few viral societal incidents and you know how we can all play a part in promoting some casual good to our society. So I'm Natasha and today with me I have Aditi and XY from The Hidden Good as well as Adam and Andy from SG Layers. Say hi! Hello. Hi! Hello. Hi everyone! So um, to kickstart off today's episode, right, we will be reacting to... Um, an incident that happened in America a few months back, which is, um, I think, like, very widely known. This incident kicked off a lot of like debates. So here's the video. How long y'all gotta hold him down? Why would you want to be touched, kids? It ain't about drugs, bro. Y'all understand that. Y'all don't gotta put y'all in his neck, bro. Right. He is human, bro. You know, if it's not your first time watching a video, what were your first thoughts when you saw it? I mean, I think I think the first the first feeling was ang- anger. Like, I mean, like, um, because we are not accustomed to how police um their procedure in Singapore. In Singapore, we don't do that, right? But apparently, when I read up, this is um a normal way of them pinning down suspect. Then again, there's also a procedure that say that if the person is struggling, the person should stop. And the fact that there are five officers, if I'm not wrong, or four officers there, right? Uh, over one man, right? Don't tell me that all four of you cannot do anything about that. I just feel very unfortunate that this 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 has to happen. And I think what for me um, it's important is people around uh, watching it couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> While you can say that they were doing their job, I think there was. I think a lot of people are angry because it hit a certain point where maybe their own personal feelings or their own personal like prejudices that were taking over instead of like, oh, the guy is really caught. I think the movement moved to Singapore when this incident blew up, lah, and people started talking about the power imbalance in Singapore itself. So so let me define uh, racism, right? So racism is basically like prejudice, discrimination or antagonism directed against a person on the basis of their membership or a particular um, racial or ethnic group. Yeah, and usually people use this term against um, the minority or marginalized. So why do you think um, like, uh, yeah, racism, racism occurs in the first place? For, a, for certain groups of people, the way they were brought up is very different. See, sometimes you, you can see children also, like young kids making like very snide comments. A five-year-old, a six, seven, eight-year-old would never know this. They would only know this if an adult was, tell, was repeating this thing and they're just parroting it because you're still young, so I wouldn't fault you for that, but I must say I would fault the parents for that. You really can't fault a child for the lack of opportunities and the lack of exposure. And that is why, you know, the whole um, education system needs to empower that, lah. like, um, our, especially neighbourhood schools. That's the opportunity that you really get to interact with people from different backgrounds. Do you all have any like proposed ideas of how we in Singapore can start talking about race? Like we as youths can kickstart this conversation in Singapore and also protect the social cohesion here. I think like a group, a, a community group session, I don't know how, what I would call it, would be a good place for like a calm conversation about race. Um, reading a book, like a book club um, sort of situation. I think those kind of things are nice because you, you read something and everyone's kind of on the same level of knowledge, assumed. Um, and then you can have a pretty informed discussion and ask, and then have room to ask for uh, ask questions. And you kind of also have the room there to like mess up because no no one's perfect. Like that room for like correction 
without being like criticized because everybody's growing and learning so i think we humans we learn things right it's when we experience things you know my other people will, like experience how my mom talk or, like my mom will cook a lot of things right then like the person will just eat then after that like my mom will say like Hey, we eat so little, eat some more. So like, you know, like this, this kind of thing. Like, like it's, I think it's gonna be very fun because you get to experience other family culture. I think overall, overarching is really being open-minded. Uh, it, it doesn't help if you if you um, always have a narrow view of, of a specific race or in it, if, if your own race, for example, or religion, for example, then then it's very hard to move forward. I think you also always need to understand where the intentions were coming from and understanding like one another. The experiences also contribute a lot to our perspective of things. At the end of the day, in a society, you know, morally we all know what is right and what is wrong. Um, but it shouldn't be used uh, against a certain race or a certain religion. I think uh, we, we can all do better and I think uh, it's just how we're gonna move forward in baby steps to make to make, to make it better. Lah. Always believe, like always acknowledge, always accept what someone has experienced if they're saying they experienced in a certain way. Um, I, I think don't try to insert your own narrative into it if you were the one who hurt someone. And I think that applies to like every situation, not necessarily just racial um, issues. Yeah, so today we talked about listening uh, being open-minded and staying curious about different cultures within our society and also how we can create you know, a mutual understanding uh, within our community. So Adam and Andy, do you all want to like give a shout out for your account? Yes! So SG Layers were created um, on a basis that um, we want to highlight every day's conversation. So we, you, you know that um, normally we have a lot of conversation with your friends privately or your family members, right? Or certain topics in your life that that you came across that you are interested in and you want to have a conversation. So actually, yes, the aim is to really bring up all these topics and to gather people from all walks of life to discuss on a certain topic. And from there, there's no right or wrong. Um, it's really about your perspective and opinion on the question being um, asked. So, so if you'd like to find us either on YouTube, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, it's Julius, and we're also constantly looking for people to join our episodes. So there's a Google Drive link that anybody can actually join because each episode has five people. Okay, thank you everyone for tuning in to this episode. So if you have any thoughts about what we talked about today or you have any topics that you'd like us to cover in future episodes, please leave your comments in the comment section. And if you like what we talked about today, you can help us to like this video and share this video with your family and friends. And don't forget to spread the goodness around. Bye!